Elemental Blast Gold Edition is a very simple and straightforward game. You will have a deck which has seven different elements in it and some wild cards. And what you'll be doing is you're trying to collect five of one kind of element or you can collect four and one wild card. And the first player to do that will win the game. Now, each of the different elements has two different abilities that it could do. For example, for this air element, it could rotate. So the previous player gives you a card and then you reverse the play direction. Or it could whirl. The previous player gives you two cards and then you reverse the play direction. So they're similar cards, but the two times action is a little bit stronger than just the base action of the card. So to start off, you're going to collect your seven different elements if you have uh, more than seven in your game. And you're going to collect those all together and you're going to go ahead and make a deck of all of those cards. Once you do that, each player is going to receive a hand of cards. So with my fantastic and awesome shuffling skills right there, we have our deck here. And each player is going to receive three cards. So let's just give three to that player, three to that player, and let's give three to myself. <clears throat> then you will take the deck and place that right in the middle of the play area. So let's look at what I have here. Well, I have two lightning cards and I have one air card. So I can go ahead and start trying to collect lightning cards, all depending on what I get and, and how the rounds go. So the first thing you do on your turn is you get a draw phase. So you draw the top card of the deck there, and then you're going to play a card. When you play a card, you're going to play a card right on top of the discard pile. Now, since there's nothing there, we're going to go ahead and start that discard pile. So I'm going to decide what I want to do. Well, starting off, I think I want to start collecting this lightning since I already have two of those. So I'm going to go ahead and use this fire card. So when I play a card, I'm going to go ahead and place that right there into the discard pile. Now, it's going to activate its top power, which is ignite. So the next player will must, must discard two cards. Now, playing a card is not discarding a card, but if a card says to discard a card, it always goes under the deck. So that was my turn. So the next player, which would be this player here, they must discard two cards. Let's look and see what they had. Uh, they had, see here, a lightning and air and a light card. So let's see here, which ones do they want to go ahead and discard? Well, air would give that player another turn. We don't want to give them another turn. We want to do that. And the next player skips a turn. They're going to get rid of this air and lightning card because these cards would make it go back to the first player and they don't want them to have a turn right away since they already have some, some new cards in their hand. They might already, might already have a strategy going. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to discard these two cards and they go under that deck. Now their turn starts. So let's go ahead and have them take their turn. They already have this light card and they're going to draw and ooh, they drew a fire card. So they have some options here. They could go ahead and play this light card, which will activate this top ability, Glow. So the next player will reveal his or her hand, and you get to select any one card from it, and then add it to your hand. Which is okay. Oh, they have this Fire card. Now this Fire card is interesting, because yes, we already know the Ignite ability, but because the top card of the discard pile is Fire, it would actually activate this Times 2 ability. So this will make all players discard two cards, which makes it a stronger ability. So whenever you play a card of the same element that's on top of the deck, you do that two times bonus ability. So they're going to go ahead and do that. It's the beginning of the game. They don't want anybody to have any real good advantages. So they're going to go ahead and have everybody discard two cards. So fire, that gets activated. So let's see what this other player had here. Ah, uh, see here. Well, they have two darkness and a light. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to discard this light because they're going to probably try to collect darkness. Now, unfortunately, 
the player here has two lightning and an air, and they have to get rid of two cards. Oh, no. So let's just go ahead, and they're going to go ahead and, and dump both of these lightning cards in hopes that they're able to collect something else. So now we're going to go on to the next player who has these two darkness cards. So looking at what darkness's ability is, it is scare. The next player gives you a card and then skips their next turn. So you put them into darkness and they have to give you a card of their choice, of course, but then they'll skip their turn. So let's go ahead and draw and see what they get. And ooh, they have fire. Now this would be interesting because they could use the uh, fire's burn ability because there's already a fire there. You'll do that two times a bonus. Now, even though this fire did a two times ability, you wouldn't do anything more to this card. You just activate it, um, the two times ability. So they're going to go ahead and, yeah, fire for everybody. So this player only had one card, which was their air card. And this player only had one card. And that would be their end of their turn. Now it'll come back to the first player's turn, and something special happens when you have no cards in hand. You get a revive, and a revive means you get to draw an extra card. So you always have a choice at what you're going to play. So we have a wild card, and we have lightning. And lightning is draw a, a jolt, draw a card, then the next player skips his or her next turn, or if there was already a lightning in the discard pile, shock, draw two cards, and the next two players skip their next turns. Interesting. And then we have a wild card. And then the wild card counts as any element, and if I play this wild card, it'll activate the two times ability of the card below it. And if a wild card is on top of the discard pile, the next card to be played will get a two times bonus as well. So it is pretty interesting. Um, let's see here. Well, we know the next player has no cards in hand. So, let's, let's, let's see what they'll do. So they'll go ahead and they'll play a lightning card here. So they get to draw a card. So they have a light card. So we have wild and light. And then the next player will go ahead and skip their turn. So they skip their turn. They don't even get to do a revive or anything. And we'll go over here to this next player. Playing with two darkness, they're going to draw and they get an earth card. And well, it's kind of obvious what they would want to do. They're going to go ahead and play that earth card because they want to hold on to those darkness cards. So they'll play earth to be able to draw two more cards. And they get a fire and an earth. You will go ahead and continue around the table, switching the order up, pulling cards from people, and doing what all the elements do until one player has five of a kind or four of a kind and a wild. Once you have that, you will throw those down and then you will yell, yell out, Elemental Blast! And if you do, you are the winner of the game. Now, I did mention that the game is called Elemental Blast Gold Edition, and where's the gold? Well, that is a different element that you can have in the game. And I have a stack of these here. So gold here, the regular ability is to gleam. So you can draw two cards, reveal your hand to all, all players, and afterwards, if you have a gold card in your hand, you get to draw another card. So gold is one of you have multiples of them. You want to do that. Then there is Sparkle. Draw three cards, then reveal your hand to all players. Afterwards, if you have a gold in your hand, you get to draw two cards. So gold is something that you want multiples of. Now there are some other elements I have in here that are, I believe, stretch goals, and they might not be in the final version of the game, all depending on how well the Kickstarter goes. But there is Metal. Let's see here. We have Wood. We have Ice. We have chaos, the element of chaos, ether. We have stone. And the element of surprise. But that is Elemental Blast, Gold Edition. Punchboard Media, where we all bring something to the table. 
pull up a chair at punchboardmedia.com. So that is Elemental Blast Gold Edition. Now I will point out this is obviously a prototype box and a prototype copy of the game. Everything will have a little bit better quality and a slightly different box with some a little bit better artwork. But overall this is actually pretty, pretty good. Now this is a very, very simple game to teach, but the strategy can to really get pretty deep. It is, is pretty interesting how you're, you're, like in that first turn that I showed you there, actually, um, I had two of a certain card, so like, ooh, I want to keep these two cards, and I'm going to try to play off the other ones. But sometimes, maybe, those cards have the ability that will be able to get you some different cards and everything. So it all depends on you. You're just trying to get as many cards as possible to try to see which ones you can try to grab and using all those different elements to bounce off of each other. So if this looks like something that you would enjoy, down below I'm going to have a link for their Kickstarter so you can go and check that out. And if you'd like to support Cloak and Meeple here, you can go over to geekygoodies.com slash Cloak and Meeple and you can go ahead and buy a Cloak and Meeple shirt. There are lots of different colors, many different sizes. So you can choose a color that would suit you and I would greatly appreciate that because every sale helps support this channel. Or if you want to, you can also go over to my Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash cloak and meeple or on my next screen, you can go ahead and click there to help donate to us in a monthly fashion. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Meeple. Thanks for watching.